This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. The Hazleton Integration Project's new playground had a big name visitor on Thursday. Hear why Chicago Cubs manager and Hazleton's own Joe Madden thinks the new addition is so important. Happy Friday and welcome to SSP TV News, available in HD on Service Electric Cablevision Channel 513. I'm Ken Kerr and these are your headlines from SSP TV and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. A shooting in Hazleton left one man injured last night. According to Hazleton Police Chief Jerry Speziali, the injuries were not life-threatening. The shooting happened in the area of South Bennett Court. Speziali says right now there are conflicting stories about what happened, but that police will get to the bottom of it. In other news, a big birthday bash is being planned for one of the oldest communities in our area, and you're invited. Lisa Sugart has the story. The beautiful borough of Beaver Meadows will be celebrating its 230th anniversary and it's coming up on June 24th and 25th. Here to tell us all about the many festivities that are taking place is Jennifer Barnasevich, uh, who is a lifelong resident of Beaver Meadows and also has a day even named after her because of all of her activities in the community. She's a member of the Beaver Meadows Citizens for Recreation. I grew up there. I'm f proud to say I'm born and raised in Beaver Meadows. Um, don't live there anymore, but visit frequently. It's a beautiful community, and you guys do a stellar job. So you wanted to have this big, major celebration to celebrate the community. Yes, absolutely. We felt uh, our last celebration was Beaver Meadows 200th, which was in 1987. So the Citizens for Recreation thought it was high time that we uh, celebrate our great borough. So you're doing this now with a banquet and then with the following the next day, you're having a big block party. That's right. We have a banquet on Saturday, June 24th at Gennetti's. So tickets are still available at the Borough Building till uh, June 20th. And then our block party, which Assistance Recreation is doing, has a whole bunch of community events going on. Um, there'll be cornhole games, um, live music from Jumpstart and Ostrich Hat. Bounce house, pony rides, face painting. Um, we're going to have this large stagecoach that kids can get their pictures taken in. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have a cakewalk, which is a real throwback from years ago. Um, there's going to be bingo with the senior citizens. So there's a whole bunch of uh, tricky trays as well and some other raffles to help the citizens for recreation. So it's going to be a really fun, fun event that Sunday. And as you've been planning this, you told me you came across like some, I guess, history, you could say, of the community. I remember back to the time when the late Brian Rusak uh, did that song, Beaver Meadows, On My Mind. Yes. And uh, that record, I think I still have a copy of it. Mm -hmm. You found more. Yes. Uh, Brian's brother actually gave us some copies of the 45s with Beaver Meadows On My Mind and Happy Birthday, Beaver Meadows. And also a copy of uh, uh, like a video that was shot to Beaver Meadows On My Mind. Wow, cool things from mm -hmm. the past. Yeah, absolutely. And it's one of the oldest communities around. Yes, uh, it's a lot older than many of our communities. And actually, like in the 1800s, it was kind of like the Wild West where uh, the citizens from Hazleton will come to Beaver Meadows for commerce and entertainment. All right, so you want them to do that again yeah, on absolutely. June 24th? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, so on June 24th, it is going to be uh, the celebration banquet happening at Jeanette's, and that's from 4 till 9 p.m. Dinner, dancing, cash bar, $35 for adults, $17 for children. As you said, uh, the ticket's available at the Borough Building, or they can call you. Yes, uh, they can contact me at 570-956-5980, and I will make sure I get them in touch with the proper people. All righty. If you have any questions about the festivities going on, give Jennifer a call. She knows all about it. We hope that everyone will come out not only for the banquet, but also for the big block party celebration. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a fabulous day, and we're going to put a good word in with the weather guy for you. All right. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it, it's always sunny in Beaver Meadows. There you go. You heard it here. So please come out and help celebrate this great community. Uh, speaking from experience, yeah. it is a great community. And congratulations on all the things you guys do and happy anniversary. Oh, thank you very much. We're really excited to celebrate. Six months ago, Hazleton Creek Properties donated money to the Hazleton Integration Project to build a playground for kids in our area. Yesterday, the playground was revealed to children in the area. Here's John Arapoli with the details. The last time Joe Madden visited the Hazleton One Community Center, he was shoveling dirt with snow on the ground. Six months later, the sun is shining, the dirt is gone, and a playground has been built. 
Yesterday, Madden cut the ribbon and introduced the new playground. Of course, Madden couldn't have done this all by himself, as the whole playground was made possible by the Hazleton Integration Project's clutch hitter, Bill Rinaldi. Rinaldi donated a quarter of a million dollars for the playground, and he was happy to do it for the kids. And the rest of it is all about the kids you see here. And the kids just have a good time and play. And remember what Mr. Madden said. Try and get off those computers and interact with your friends. The kids love the playground, and Bob Curry, who is the president of HIP, loves how the playground came out. Oh, I think it's really awesome to be able to um, have a place for these kids that's safe, and it's so bright and beautiful, and the kids are so excited about it, and I think that's what it's really all about. As for Madden, he likes the idea of having a playground in Hazleton just like when he was a kid. Except when he was a kid, he was practicing for the hardwoods rather than the baseball diamond. My first thought when I come down here when we drive up is the playground. Uh, when you grew up back in the day here in Hazleton, you woke up and you went to the playground. That's all you did. I was at Alt Miller. I was eventually a, um, a supervisor at James Street, thanks to Bob Curry. Maybe in 1972, I was the head instructor at James Street, where I worked on my left-handed hook shot all summer because that was a big basketball playground. I wanted to be Dave the Busher. Joe Madden believes that some of the lessons the kids will learn on this playground will carry them through everyday life. But at the end of the day, these, they got to get out and play and interact. Uh, a lot of our problems today, for, for me, are the um, residue of, of, of a lack of interaction among human beings. It's too much technology. The playground is a spot where kids could actually get to know one another and learn how to interact with one another. For the children in Hazleton, they will now be able to get exercise, have fun, and learn life lessons, all made possible by the Hazleton Integration Project. For SSPTV News, I'm John Eric Poli. Thank you, John, and thank you, Lisa, for the Beaver Meadows story. Well, there's an all-new episode of The Girls hitting the air tonight on SSPTV. Join Deb and Janine as they chat with a doctor and a nurse from Coordinated Health about medical issues important to women. The show debuts at 9 p.m., but if you're like Kenny, I have some big Friday night plans tonight. Don't worry, you can watch the show anytime you like on the new Samsung Productions app, along with all the other local shows we produce. It's an all-new Girls tonight on SSPTV. We're giving away another pair of ticket vouchers right now for the Scranton Wilkesbury Rail Riders. The vouchers are good for one 2017 regular season home game of your choice. They must be redeemed at the PNC Field box office based on availability. Call us now, 570-459-9813, extension 104. Leave your name and phone number and we will pick a winner at random. So there's a big party going on in drums tomorrow. Yes, you are invited, and yes, it is for a great cause. We preview Kagan Fest next. In sports, our Lady Cougar Spectacular continues with highlights and reaction from Hazleton area's trip to the state championship softball game. This is SSPTV News, your place for 24 hours of your hometown news and information. This is SSPTV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. Well, we've been telling you about it, but this Saturday is the big event. The Kagan Fest takes place this Saturday from 1 to 11 p.m. at Coriel Grove in Drums. Here to tell us all about it is Nicole Warner. She is the founder of the Kagan Foundation, which will benefit from this festival now in its sec second year. And for those who are not familiar with what the Kagan Fest is and why it is, Tell us about it because it's uh, because your son is battling with kidney disease. Yes, um, the Kagan Foundation stands for Kellen Against IGA Nephropathy. Um, we started the foundation uh, in February of 2016, and we basically um, help fund juvenile medical assistance. We do research. We um, basically are funding for Kagan camps, Kagan houses, and support groups. And the Kagan Fest is one of our biggest events. We held it last year. It was a great success. Uh, this year, we're hoping it's even bigger. Um, Kagan Fest, there will be several bands. Um, there's going to be tricky trays. There's going to be food. There's going to be a beverage cart, um, games, and just a fun, fun day. 
All righty. And it's happening uh, at Coriel Grove. So that's on Deep Hole Road in Drum. So easy to get to. Um, there is a charge for those who are 13 and up. Yes, there's a charge. It's a $5 for 13 and up, and 12 and under is free. Um, and anything extra that you, like I said, want to pay, that's, you know, your food, your tricky trays. Um, that's about it. So it's fun for the whole family, an entire day, but for a really great cause. It's for a really great cause. Um, all this um, is 100% that goes to the Kagan Foundation, and it goes for our mission that I stated. And, um, you know, this is our way of helping and uh, supporting and becoming a community. How is Kellen doing? Kellen is doing great, actually. Um, you know, every day he, it's probably a battle for him, but um, for 14 years old, um, it's like, him and everybody else that's battling kidney disease, they're, it's quite amazing how they grow up too fast. Um, and his support and his help through um, K the Kagan Foundation and the Kagan Fest, it's, it's truly amazing um, to see that. Well, we're glad to hear about it. We want everybody to come out this Saturday uh, from 1 p.m. until 11 p.m. Coriel Grove, that's 674 Deep Hole Road in Drums. You have two other spokespeople here with you. Who's this? I do have two other spokespeople, um, Caitlin Warner and Kylie Warner, which are our daughters and Kellen's sisters. And, and they, they, oh, are they have a message? Maybe they could have a message about Kagan Fest. Okay, girls, you're on. Come Hi. to Kagan Fest. <laughs> you can't say no to those two little cuties. So please come on out this Saturday. Uh, you'll have a blast. Time now for weather on SSPTV News. All right, here's our weekend forecast now from the National Weather Service. Let's start with tonight, 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms, otherwise mostly cloudy low in the mid-60s. Our Saturday, 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms, otherwise mostly cloudy, well behind your 79 at night, down to a 20% chance of some isolated showers and thunderstorms, mostly cloudy, low of 67. Sunday will be mostly cloudy with a high near 82 degrees. We do have a chance of some severe showers and thunderstorms, 40% chance at night. We're down to 66 degrees, 60% 60 chance of showers and thunderstorms. Monday up to 70% chance of showers and thunderstorms. 76 will be the high Monday night, 40% chance of showers, mostly cloudy, low of 60. Tuesday partly sunny, high in the mid 70s, and then Tuesday night partly cloudy, low of 57 degrees. Tonight's weather is brought to you by Valley High Food Drive-In, the area's oldest ice cream and fast food restaurant. We're open weekdays, 3.30 to 8 p.m. Stop by for our ice cream and yogurt. Now featuring fat-free, no sugar added soft frozen yogurt with flavors like vanilla, strawberry, and strawberries and cream. We also have burgers, hot dogs, fries, and much more. That's Valley High, Route 93 in West Hazleton. And like us on Facebook. Hi, Jerry here at Burger Advantage Pre-Owned, Route 93, Hazel Township. Check out these great deals. It's a 2010 Pontiac G6 GT sedan. This one only has 81,000 original miles. It's $99.95. You've got leather interior, moonroof, monsoon stereo system, chrome wheels, power seat, CD, gorgeous vehicle, and it's only $99.95 with the moonroof. Or we have this 2015 Toyota Corolla. This is an S model, sport. Look at the alloy wheels, absolutely gorgeous. 7,000 original one owner local trade miles. Automatic, CD, power windows, power locks, cruise control. You can't beat this. It's only 7,000 miles and it's 16,995. And Burger Advantage, what is that? I'll tell you, it's lifetime free Pennsylvania state inspections lifetime tire rotations, you get five years of oil changes, we have courtesy delivery, so if you don't want to wait around and get your car serviced, we'll pick your car up and deliver it for you. Just can't beat these deals. Pennsylvania Lottery midday winning numbers, your wild number is one, and your pick two numbers, two zeros, pick three, eight, one, eight, and your pick four numbers up on your screen, four, three, nine, three, and pick five, six, eight, three, seven, six. Our Lady Cougar Spectacular continues after this break. We'll take a look at the state championship softball game. Time now for sports on SSPTV News. 
Between tears, the first words out of Hazleton area senior Megan Tribal Pieces mouth to the media after her team's 5-3 loss to Hempfield in the 6A state championship game war, there's nothing better than being a Cougar. I am a Bishop Hafey Viking and I never ever thought I would be wearing a Hazleton area hat, but being from this area, wow am I proud of the Hazleton area softball team. So Colts, Bears, Devils, Preppers, Raiders, Spartans, and yes Vikings, let's all take a moment and appreciate the 2017 Lady Cougar softball team. It was their first time on Pennsylvania softball's biggest stage, and after half an inning, Hazleton area found themselves in an early hole to the defending champions who were riding a 40-game winning streak. The Lady Cougars went down 1-2-3 in the bottom of the first. Some teams may have flinched. Some teams may have shown some fear, but not the fight in Cougars. With two freshmen already on base, a third came to the plate, Kira Antolik, and she gave Hazleton area a 2-1 lead with this hit. Down 5-2-2 in the final inning, the Lady Cougars clawed back within two runs thanks to an RBI by freshman Tiana Treon. Their comeback ultimately fell short, but their success in 2017 will forever loom large. They can't hang their heads. You know, they came back that last inning. They fought all game. Um, they never gave up. They kept be, kept each other up all season. Um, you can't be upset with these kids, and they can't be upset with themselves. The seniors had a hell of a run. Um, I can't be more proud, and I'm, I'm happy to be their coach this season. Hazelton area's three seniors, Hope Kinney, Taylor Cost, and Megan Trival Peace, helped guide the program to a top four finish in the state two years in a row. You could point to certain plays or stats to prove just how valuable these seniors have been, but listening to Tribal Pieces' words after the state championship game really illustrates how much they mean to the program. My time as a Hazleton Cougar, there's nothing better than that. It was so special playing with all my friends and everybody played their hearts out. It just, there's nothing better than being a Cougar. I wouldn't trade this team for the world. And the people in the dugout are just as important as the people in the field. Everybody's rooting for the team and that's what, how we got here, playing as a team. And it was just such a special experience and I'll never forget it. Tribal Peace and Kinney were the last Lady Cougars off the field after the game. One last moment with Megan, you know, we're going our own ways to college. It was a blessing to have Megan on the field and off the field as a best friend. She's inspiring. She's picking me up in the dugout every inning. She's awesome. I can't ask for a better best friend than her. They'll wear different uniforms next year, but they'll always be Lady Cougars. And they'll always have great memories from the 2017 season when they became only the second team in school history to make it to a state championship game. It's hard coming up short, but you know, I'm so thankful for all the memories we made. Making here was such a blessing, you know. The support from all our family, friends. The town came together, and that's such an awesome feeling. Win or lose, we still tried our best and did our best, you know. It was awesome. So from everybody in the area, thank you to the 2017 Hazleton area Lady Cougars for the great ride. This whole spring has been a Lady Cougar spectacular, so congratulations once again to the softball team. A quick score before we get to Ronnie, the Rail Riders. They lost to Rochester 8-2. Okay, that's it. Now, Ronnie. Happy birthday to the Queen Bee of Lobitz's Catering for the last 50 years plus. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Short Shots on this middle-of-the-month Friday. This is young Pat Havonitz when she started 56 years ago. And this is Pat as she looks today at 74 and proud of it. Still working, still awesome, and no sign of slowing down. Also, two of my favorites who are still buried after nearly 73 years, Danford and Tano Taros, Danford and Taros Sr. will be 93 tomorrow and his wife, Lucy, will be 94 on Sunday. Happy birthday to both. Now, let's review this past week. Jimmy Hoffman, arguably the best wrestler of all time at Hazel area, picked up his 2017 Scotty Roman Award last Friday at the Swing Club. Hoffman, who won a record 161 matches for the Cougars, is the 73rd athlete to receive that prestigious honor that started in 1949, which includes five co-winners. Also last Friday, the Cleveland Cavaliers De denied the Golden State Warriors a sweep in the NBA Finals. However, on Monday, the Warriors, 16-1 in the playoffs, closed the deal as NBA champions in five games. Kevin Durant was MVP in that final series. What else? Rosario Mazzolini recorded a hole-in-one at Edgewood, and Joe Carnival scored an ace at Blue Ridge. Joe V claimed the state racquetball championship held 
at Lansdale, taper it when the Belmont Stakes horse race in New York. Former Scotty Roman winner and Penn State pitcher Sal Biazzi was drafted by the Kansas City Royals. NASCAR driver Ryan Blaney won the Pocono 400. The Pittsburgh Penguins won Ice Hockey Stanley Cup. All good news, but not this. Terry Daly, wife of Chuck Daly, who coached the NBA bad boy champion Detroit Pistons a couple of decades ago, died yesterday in Tech West, Florida. Terry Cherileski Daly was Miss Hazelton in 1950 and graduated from Wordley High. She was 88. Now, the biggest story of the week and beyond, the Hazelton area Lady Cougars softball team. On Monday, they trailed 4 nothing, but bounced back once again to beat Spring 485 in the state semifinal at Parkland, which propelled them into the state championship game yesterday at Penn State against 26-0 defending state champion Hemfield, who had won 40 straight. The Lady Cougars lost 5-3 to a great team, but Hazen Ernie has, was a great team at 22-4. Many moons from now, remarkable softball names will still be remembered, like Tribal Peace, Kashak, Rossi, Treon, Kinney, Book, and Tolick. Coast, Brasky, and of course, Heather Nat. Thanks for the memories, girls. They will be back. So will I on Monday. Till then, be good sport. Stay loose. Good evening, everyone. Here's today's Talk of the Town. Kindergarten registration in the Hazleton Area School District for the 2017-2018 school year will be held by appropriate schools by appointment only on the dates listed below. Appointments can be made by calling the number that's listed on your screen. There will be a food sale that benefits Stosh McCluskey on Saturday, June 17th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Frackville Borough Hall. You may eat in or take out. SSP TV News would like to send our sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. Barbara May Buchan, Virginia Beach. Condolences may be offered on the website listed below. Anna Gelazinski, Freeland. The McHugh Wilczek Funeral Home is in charge of the arrangements. Richard J. Capus, Ewing, New Jersey. Arrangements are incomplete at this time. Justin Michael Pizarro, formerly of Hazleton. Mass is Monday at 11 a.m. at the Most Precious Blood Church in Hazleton. Friends may call Sunday from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Butler Chapel of the Croft and Hughes Funeral Homes. Norman E. Robinson, Hazleton. The Hazel Chapel of the Croft and Hughes Funeral Homes is in charge of the arrangements. Attention pay-per-view subscribers, if you see your name now on SSP TV News, you'll have 13 minutes to call in and win a free movie from Service Electric Cablevision. Tonight's winner is Sean Lester of Freeland. Call now at 570-455-7267, extension 104, for your free movie. If you missed any of our coverage of the Lady Cougars softball team this week, you can go to the new Samsung Productions app. It's all right there under SSP TV News. Remember, there's a new episode of The Girls tonight, 9 p.m. here on SSP TV with Coordinated Health. And I believe Larry Holmes is on the Sam LaSan show. That will be an interesting one. Plus, ladies and gentlemen, please remember this weekend the Kagan Fest. Have fun out there in drums. We'll be back next week with much more here on SSP TV News. Until then, take it easy, everyone. Watch us online anytime at ssptv.com and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.